Hello, here is another video showing you how to use the Augment plugin for 3ds Max. Um, uh, the Augment engine on the smartphone and uh, tablet supports transparency, although very limited. But still this is a great feature if you want to show, for instance, doors with glass, like this door and um, still want to keep transparency while baking all the other objects. Um, let's check this out. Uh, I have a scene here and this is actually my glass, uh, my glass object. And we can check out the material. This is the material, it is really very transparent. And um, let's see how we can deal with this. Uh, augment gives you a tool to see um, uh, if it actually recognizes uh, the transparent materials. This is sometimes a matter of interpretation, but with uh, uh, standard materials you can't really go wrong. Um, uh, V-Ray, Mental Ray and Scanline is supported, which means that the V-Ray material, the standard material, the arc and design, um, the ray trace material and the um, uh, there was one more let's have a look and the architectural material they are supported and, and recognized when uh, working with uh, transparencies so let's check this out let's show the transparencies in the viewport in the coded uh, colors this is how augment sees the scene green objects will be opaque and blue will be transparent that actually looks fine to me. Um, if you say, "Well, no, let's just let's," I, I want to bake the uh, the transparent objects, and I don't care about transparency. You can override them, and you say, "Okay, let's uh, let's bake them." Uh, but in this case, I don't want that. Uh, I'm actually going to clear the overrides. Um, so this is just more a tool of checking how Augment sees the scene and um, if, you, if stuff is unexpected then uh, you're uh, welcome to change the materials. So about the material, so this is actually the, the transparent material which is, uh, which is detected. This material is very transparent, it is 100% transparent, so this will be will look a bit strange when uh, when view when you view it in augment because uh, you won't see it at all so let's add a little bit of opacity I'm not sure but this should be fine okay now we're all set and ready to bake stuff I've got these spheres in here to demonstrate uh, uh, later on what's happening so I'm going to save my scene enter um, a name and select my objects uh, it's actually always exporting the selected objects and I'm going to publish them okay network okay blah blah, blah. Uh, save it again and I'm going to uh, pause the video for a moment and uh, see you right back Okay, the model has been uploaded, it's processing right now and uh, it opens a page on Augment and there it is. You can see the nice um, a transparency effect here. Uh, here the window is a little bit open so that's entirely transparent but the glass there is still something you can interpret as glass, it's not entirely disappeared. So exporting objects with transparency uh, from within Augment. Happy exporting.